straight and listen. I back with my brand new invention. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Flow like a heart from day and nightly. Put it out of stop, yo. I don't know. Turn off the lights and I'll grow. To the extreme, I rock a mic like a fan duel. Check out the book for my DJ. Hello chat. Hello. Let's see. <clears throat> hello Rhino. Hello Master Shadow. Hello Evil. Hello Stuttering Kitten. Hello Silver Cloud. Hello Murdoch. Hello. Actually, I think that's everyone. Uh, and hello anyone else who happens to be lurking right now in the chat. Uh, it is time for another stream, and I have. I've, uh, I, I found a, a really interesting, like, I guess, drawing challenge thing that I thought could be fun. So, uh, I have no idea if this is going to work on stream, if you guys are going to be able to see this, um, but we're going to try. So, uh, in the color filter settings, something that I have grown very used to using, uh, and by that I mean whenever a game does not have, like, colorblind settings, uh, oh, hey, oranges. Definitely. Hello. <laughs> what was that? 
It's me, Death from Puss in Boots. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, random join sound effect. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is even going to show on stream. Uh, but I'm going to turn, I'm going to try to turn on the color filters to grayscale. And then I've got this, uh, this site here that's going to randomly pick a bunch of colors for me to use. So... First, let's even see if this works on stream. I have no fucking idea. Let's turn on the filter first. Does that work? Can the stream see that? You guys can see it? Okay. Cool, cool. Alright. So... F oh god, I have... <laughs> this sketching process is going to be a nightmare, but we're gonna... <laughs> Only uh, see... Fuck it, we huh? Just fuck it, we all. True, true. So, how are you, Oranges? Um, I just got new PC built. Nice. And it came with a number of problems. <laughs> oh no! Um, <laughs> yeah, we ordered all the parts at the start of December, and it only just got finished, like, last night. Because we oh. kept having to, like, reorder new parts, because shit wasn't working together. The motherboard just came, like, completely cooked, like, it just wouldn't work. Oh, wow. I'm gonna send that back. We got a new one, and then uh, when I put in the RAM sticks, I somehow managed to put those in wrong, so the like PC was booting off of no RAM. So I was just Ooh. sitting there, like last night, crouched, being like, "Dude, how the fuck did I just like what is happening?" <laughs> but we sorted it out, so it's it's all good. Now it now it works, and nice, nice. Yeah. What have, you, what have you been doing? Uh, the there, English. What about you two? I too have been dealing with computer problems, actually, for the past, like, two weeks. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, that's uh, your tweet about it. Yeah, and friendly reminder, that was only, like, a few days after I got back home from the ER. <laughs> oh. Because they, they had to take out my, uh, my gallbladder. So, yeah, that was, that was a, a fun three weeks, total. Jesus Christ. I'm doing better now, so it's, it's all done, it's all worked out, but it was just not fun to deal with at the time. Yeah, I, well, I imagine. Speaking of how am I healing up, I'm doing better. Like I can I can eat now, which is good. Um, it doesn't hurt as much to move around. Uh, though I still have the weird like body glue that they put on me on the on the incisions, and I don't know like when those are when that's supposed to peel off or uh, if I should be more careful about it peeling off. I have no idea. But, yeah. Overall, I'm doing better. Oh, you mentioned being able to eat, um, again. You're able to eat beef as well now again, right? Yep. Oh, I've definitely had burgers. I've definitely had my burgers. I, I have been... I'll admit, I've been indulging myself. I have been probably overcompensating for how long I've been not able to eat. <laughs> the American experience. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> This is how you know I'm American, for sure, for sure. True. No matter how many, no matter how many weird people come into my chat and say that I would, uh, my content would be better if I was British. 
<laughs> I, I think Sorry. about that. I think about that guy a lot. It was just some random chatter came into my chat one day, like during during a stream, like maybe a year or two, maybe three or so ago, and they all, all they said they didn't even say hi or anything like that. They just came in and was like, "Your content would be better if you were British," and then left. I think about that guy a lot. <laughs> I wonder how that guy's doing on the next EDL meeting. <laughs> That's not like something I, I someone just... from Birmingham would say, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> like, specifically. It's it, nah, they're either very, very Birmingham, or they're very, very rich part of London. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know why you live in London. Like, <laughs> it makes sense. It will make sense. Yeah, like... I'm Everyone sorry, who lives like, in London is miserable. They get like fucking charged like 4k a month for rent and then they're like, yeah, I love it here. Everything's here. I never have to leave. It's like, please, I want to die. <laughs> just like, yeah, everything, everything that we need. Tesco, Sainsbury's, knife crime, we got it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crippling debt. Oh man, I love yeah. it here. <laughs> the dude wanted to leave a lasting effect. Well, he succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You could, that, you could tell that there's gonna be like a right wing uh provocateur's Twitter account who like tweets about that guy just saying not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm booting up Minecraft to like test how like how high FPS I can get while like having narrators on Oh Oh god. Hmm? Yeah, I'm booting up Minecraft with shaders to see like how how much FPS I get over like max rendering and stuff. Nice. And then after that, I'm gonna like boot up a VR game and then try and like render Premiere Pro clips and see what happens. I want to see if this like just kills the PC or not. I was about to say yeah, maybe Mali's server can actually like run at a consistent 15 frames a second now. I think I um, I'll try. I haven't tried yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I genuinely don't know. I thought about trying to join the SMP today. I decided not to. I'm not really feeling up for Minecraft. That's fair. Just, just, I just haven't had the time recently because, like, fucking college just does not leave me alone. And like, even that, like that, they were like on like the last day. They were just like, you know, metaphorical gun to head. They're like, you will be working over Christmas, right? Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. Also, also known as working like the night before. Uh, yep. <laughs> what time I'm fucking is right. This for? Did I just like healthy, healthy work-life balance? Was that? Yeah. What? You don't need that. Uh. Don't listen to me. I give bad advice. Yeah, mental health hinders progress. Yeah. If everybody took a break to work on their mental health, nothing would get done. Mm. <laughs> I started laughing, fuck. I mean, yeah, like, do you think that the, what's it, um, the soldiers vibing in the trenches were just going to be like, nah, quick mental health break? I should have, <laughs> honestly. Bro, I already have the fucking thing. Yeah, here we go. What version of Minecraft is this for? <laughs> See Susie's content? Yes, but not enough French. Where can I get to her? <laughs> oh, my chat. My chat has joined me in thinking very, very much about this guy. <laughs> this random <laughs> fucking dude. His legacy lives on. Well, so there's a, there's a few things like that where I, I've just met some, like, weird rando online, and I think about them a lot. Um, uh, there was a... So I don't know if anyone remembers uh, the, the website Rabbit. No. Hmm? No. Rabbit? So, Rabbit uh, is kind of like Watch Together, but you had, like, more websites you could use. Um... And so I was, uh, I was in a call with a friend, uh, we were just kind of watching, I think we were watching Dire of a Wimpy Kid memes. 
no. <laughs> and so like randos joined in because in Rabbit, like there was not there you didn't have the ability for like private rooms. Um so just some randos joined in and started like saying a bunch of really gross and like kind of not great things, like it was all pointed at like Manny. How much they wanted to like fuck a child or whatever, Aww. and we just we got like a like the like the the, the friend and I we kind of looked at each other, kind of was like eh, this these these guys are a little weird. You wanna you wanna fuck with them? You wanna mess with them? And then uh, he's like, yes, absolutely. So we threw on Megalovania, and they got really angry really fast. Why? <laughs> I have no Megalovania? idea. I have no idea. But we made them really angry, really fast. It was so funny. We threw on, we One threw time. on Megalovania. These guys got so angry that they tried like they they tried throwing insult after insult at us. And when that didn't work, they called us vaccinated, derogatory, and left. <laughs> Healthy derogatory goodbye. <laughs> I just, what the fuck. <laughs> Uh <laughs> I mean, they called us vaccinated as if that was supposed to be an insult to us. It's like, oh yes. <laughs> we are Healthy. We are health we are healthy and our immune system is better. Okay. That's How dare you derogatory, I guess. Yeah. I I love just randos online. Uh Optifine makes no sense. Um but I need it. Oh my god. Why is that not like in the pack? Is it not? Hmm? No, not on not on Mally's. I'm just like pulling uh. up regular Minecraft to like test it. If if the fucking <laughs> the server say. didn't have Optifine. I was about to say, is that why I can't get on it? <laughs> Oh my god. Could you have fucking imagine? You know how fucking crazy that would be? <laughs> I, I'll, I'll take a look at the mod pack afterwards to like see if it... Like if I can figure out this issue, I doubt I, I don't have Java installed. Oh my god, I don't have Java installed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, new, new PC moment. Oh my god. Optifine was removed? What? Are you kidding? What? <laughs> that doesn't seem like good. Uh, no fucking wonder. God, all those mods and and Mally doesn't put fucking Optifine on. Oh, Christ. There's a bunch of server. That there's a bunch woman. of server optimization stuff as well that could help. I would take a look at it and use my like kind of basic Minecraft knowledge to be like. Add this, add this to get it sorted. Because I know a bunch of people have been having issues joining. And like, even on my old laptop, I was like fucking tanking. Like, I, I could barely hit 60. You know, I couldn't do anything uh, the first event because I kept just crashing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't have Java installed, so I've installed it now, right? Do I have to restart? Okay, I'll be back in like two seconds. I gotta restart my entire PC for Java. All of that. You also probably don't have the slightly updated mod pack. I don't. I ever like the when I when I moved or when I when I got moved into the ER. I know there was like an update or some shit like that, and I haven't really been. I haven't really had the the urge to go in and like 
update the mod pack or anything like that. Uh, right, so Java should be installed, all right. It's not, that's weird. Drawing in grayscale is so fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm fully aware of the world reset. Uh, Moonlit, I, like... Mally told me where my, my house can be found. Which, I'll be honest, I'm not too looking forward to having to hunt it down, but, eh, whatever. It's like getting the Dragon Balls, you know, it's all about the journey. Sorry about the random nerd reference, I'm... It's cool, yeah. I've been friends with Avi for... Years. <laughs> Valid. Avi is too a Dragon Ball nerd. I'm used to it. That's fair. He's also watched all of One Piece. Been watching JJK. <laughs> All of One Piece. I need to I'm, get into JJK. I, yeah. yeah I, I am. I, point being, I'm used to to hearing about animes I know nothing about. <laughs> That's fair. JJK had one of the best anime episodes like just ever, and it was kind of crazy. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna boot. My, I'm booting 1.19.2 of shaders. I'm gonna like just uncap my FPS and like put everything to max and see what happens. <laughs> Right, Let's see how big the mushroom cloud gets. Render distance is at 64. Uh, simulation is at 64. Just unlimited frame rate. Uh, everything's at max uh, settings. Oh, wait, what the fuck? I'm getting... On, on max settings, I'm getting 120 FPS. <laughs> Holy shit, that's actually pretty good. Can you send me the specs of your computer, by the way? Okay. <laughs> because I do actually need to put some thought into buying new shit. Yo, yeah, same. Same! Now that uh, people have fucking donated to try to get a computer fix that had like a $30 fix. Yeah, the thing that fried my computer, Oranges, I don't know if you saw that yeah. part. The thing that fried my computer was USB ports on the front of my computer. What? Yeah. I, after after I had a, a brief search, a brief, I guess, brownout, those USB ports got fried, and my computer just couldn't turn on. I... What? What, did you just... Okay. I know very little about computers, but did you plug out, like, the, the, the power supplying it, and then plug it back in? Did that fix it, or did, is it just, like, completely we, fried? Oh, we... 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 Uh, let's see. We replaced the power supply first. That was the first thing we did. Then we replaced yeah. the memory. Then we then I, I went on a new egg, bought the exact same motherboard and processor because I have a raid array and I can't just upgrade like that, like just so care carelessly. So I went on a new egg, bought like a decade old processor and motherboard uh, for those to come in. And we replaced those and it still didn't turn on. So we brought, we brought it to a store, like we brought it to Micro Center, and the dude just like unplugged a couple of things, and it's like, ah, there's the problem. It's the USB hub. Like, are you ah. fucking for real? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pissed. It's the most anticlimactic thing ever. I was so unbelievably mad. <laughs> the most like simple, ah, oh, dude. 
But but hey, you know, it's better than it like just dying, I guess. I don't ever need to load 64 chunks, so if I just turn this on to 12, I'm sure my like render distance is about to like shoot up. Oh yeah. <laughs> But yeah, the, the specs, the specs I just sent you, Len, you do not need those exact ones because I overcompensated a lot, especially with the RAM. Oh no, I'm planning to overcompensate. Like what I oh, want this fair. thing to do is to be able to run OBS while recording max setting Cyberpunk. Oh, I need to try, I need to try that, that as a shout. Because like, I I'm sorry, but like, I, I want to like make a video essay on that shit. And yeah. like... I'm doing that game justice, right? That game's a work of art. Honestly, get an Intel instead of um, a Ryzen. I'm a, like, Ryzen's are cheaper, but Intel's have, like, integrated graphics. Which is, like, nice because it gives you more HDMI slots than just a few graphics card. Yeah. Like, I just have a useless one that I have, like, no use for. Um, hang on. There you go. Susie, we would have donated you anyways, and USB ports would do that after 10 years. Well, everything else on the computer was fine. Like, I'm pretty sure, we never did go back and test it, but I'm pretty sure the motherboard and processor that I had, even despite the fact that they're 10 years old, probably would have still worked. <laughs> we didn't go back and check it, but it probably would have been fine, because everything else was fine. The hard drives were fine. Technically, the memory sticks were fine. The power supply was fine. But like, <laughs> graphics card didn't fry. Everything was fine. It was just those fucking USB ports. I was just... I, I don't... I don't understand technology sometimes. <laughs> I, lo I love, um, like, looking at my stats on Minecraft and just seeing GPU usage 100% in all, like, big, bold <laughs> red. It's just like you are straining me to death, you Help fucking me. <laughs> You got me yesterday, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, have you owned me for five minutes? Don't worry, I'm gonna replace the graphics card eventually. Either it's gonna get like fried or I'm just gonna replace it naturally. Oh, why is Minecraft so loud? How the fuck were you talking about all this advanced specs and all these crazy fucking computer things and then it's fucking Minecraft? Because <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft is actually a really intensive game for some goddamn reason. Yeah, I don't know. No, no, Minecraft isn't. For... Mali Malware is a very intensive game. No, no, Minecraft itself is, and I have no fucking idea why the uh, biggest game in the world can't run on a fucking shitty computer. <laughs> okay, hold on, no, what the, how, what the, any context on that Mali joke? Oh, uh, the, like, SMP server is just incredibly, like, It's heavy. It's out of its ass. Yeah, it's very heavy. Uh, Alright. Also, I'm in front of the oranges. Oh. What? Yes, you are, actually. Let me move you over. Yeah. There you are. Nice, nice. Epic. So what we do in today, Suzanne? Um... Making characters in grayscale. Uh... Uh, okay. Well, currently I have, um... Currently, I have I have some filter. I have a uh, the the color filter on on my computer. Nobody can see. Like I, I like I I cannot see the color on my computer right now. Uh, and I'm just oh. gonna try to make characters, and I'm going to randomize the color palette. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. Ow, also, fun. uh, thank you for the follow. 
Zakirux, I think? Welcome to the chat, I hope you enjoy your stay. I'm not sure how, how I would pronounce that. You had to get a sip oh, of the spicy... I had to get a sip of the spicy apple juice, so... Ah, uh, you got some monster? I'm so glad you remembered what that meant. <laughs> Yo, I Yellow. You seen the, did you see a, what's it, the fucking Merry Christmas post that Liz Truss put up? No. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need to see this. I didn't see this fucking Liz Truss Christmas post. What? Yeah, it's just like, yep, thanks to you, um, ownership of, like, outside of house Christmas lights are, like, physically just not feasible for the working class. Hang on. Thank you. God, I need this so bad. Please. <laughs> I don't please, know please. why. It's just the image. Just the the image is how you generate the emotion of violence. <laughs> just the the first reply is that the economy burning in the background. <laughs> 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 I mean, we are probably. so fucked. <laughs> we are. So <laughs> nah, it's it's not the economy. It's the queen. It's, uh, it's the cremation ceremony thing. All right, so let's that's the sketch layers. Let's attempt to do line art in grayscale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds so cursed. <laughs> What gave you the idea to do this? I saw it in a YouTube video. And I thought it looked fun. <laughs> Fair What are you humming? Uh, Big Shot. Uh. You can go on Etsy and buy the spam tin glasses. <laughs> Damn, I have no idea, like, oh, so long. You want, you want to rock the spam tin glasses, chat? Hmm? I'm, I'm being stupid, don't worry about me. Ah, uh, gotcha. Forgive me, it comes naturally with, uh, my, uh, being a furry. I was about to say you're a furry <laughs> artist, it's fine. One of my, uh, one of my favorite things in regards to Spamton was, uh, so I had, uh, I've had a character, like a little OC, by the name of Barry. He was a little yeah. baker boy. Um, and, uh, when I first created him, like, years and years and years ago, um, he, the the eye colors that I gave him were pink and yellow. Oh my god! Ooh. And then Spamton came out, and I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> See, I find Spamton so funny because apparently Toby Fox expected people to hate him. R really? Yeah, Toby yeah. thought everyone would think. Toby apparently thought everyone would find him annoying, but it turns out no. No, I think he's fucking hilarious. Yeah, you I and the rest he, of the world. I think he's tragic. <laughs> oh no, I actually 100% of Delta Rune Chapter 2, and yeah. No, I love him. I get it. I should have got, like, done such a shitty hand, but at the same time, it's kind of his fault. Spamton is an enigma. I think he's a compelling a what? character. An enigma. A what? An enigma. What? No, I'm joking, go on. <laughs> it, it, it's a word that means... No, no, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> that. <laughs> See, I generally oh, thought you didn't know what I was. Hmm? What? I see uh, RM Jesus in chat. Hey, uh, RM hey Jesus. Jesus. Hey, Jesus, how's it going? Hello, Jesus. I, uh, I pray, I promise. I was saying it's your birthday in two days. How's it going, Doc? Um, how you popping? 
I'm drawing a vampire getting brutalized. How was your day, Jesus? Um. But nah, yeah, I say this every time the center comes up. I fucking love Delver, honestly. Yo, so like, excited for chapter three. Uh, like. Oh, wait, they're doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually. 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 We have no idea when, but it's coming out at some point. I say, eventually, it'll ca it'll get caught up with me. Um, uh, but, no, it's like, because I thought Undertale was fine. Uh, I've grown more favorable towards it over the years, but I still think Deltarune's overall a more fun game to play. For me, I... I liked Undertale until I played it. <laughs> I did uh, not actually. like I did not like playing Undertale. I love the characters. I love the story. I I love I like I I will sit down and watch someone play uh Undertale. Oh. I do not like to play Undertale. I, Undertale is just not fun for me. Deltarune oh, I adore. <laughs> what did so, I do? I absolutely fucking think that Toby's art and design is has ma seen a massive upgrade with uh, Deltarune because its characters are immaculate yeah. visually. The, yeah, one of the things that I, I, I one of the things that in hindsight I really don't like about Undertale is that it does kind of punish you for playing the game in a way that you would normally play a game like it. Like you if if you play like RPGs and what have you, right? Yeah. You're probably going to to go through the game fighting like you, you know, fighting whatever pops up. And maybe you won't grind unless you absolutely have to or or anything like that. But it actively punishes you for doing that. Um so See, I would bring up the whole, the whole, isn't that kind of the point? But also, that doesn't really... That is really the point. Change. Yeah, That is the really point, and that's the problem. Yeah, no, it doesn't <laughs> change the fact that... Because I think I've said something like this before, like... I can respect what some, what, I get, what it's going for, while at the same time not personally being a fan of it. Like, not, I don't, I'm not saying I agree with the point, I'm just making, I'm just using I in, like, a general statement, because I've had this sort of opinion before about other things. I can respect what it's going for, I can see the vision, I can respect the vision, but I can still not like interacting with the vision, if you know what I mean. Like, I can feel like that's one, that's like a lost art online. Not, not, this is not me saying it about you, by the way, Susie, I want to make that clear. This is like a general thought, which you probably are used to me doing those by now. Um, mm -hmm. But like, I feel like it's a lost art with a lot of people to be able to recognize the difference between not personally vibing with a game versus it being bad. Like, and I feel yeah. like being able to tell the difference is key. And it's a key that very few people have anymore, seemingly. Um, anyway. Looking at the weird amount of people who were, cr uh, who were criticizing Super Mario 64 when the fucking 3D collection came out. Looking at the people who are literally, for some reason, mad about the Metal Gear Solid collection, particularly its release of MGS1 for just being gasped, a PS1 game on PC, like they advertised. Crazy. Wild. I know. Fucking crazy. Um, anyway. Hey, wow! Bo both our examples were about, were about re-releases of, of games from early 3D era consoles. Funny how that works out, yeah. Susie. <laughs> I just... I don't even understand, like, what the... Okay. Where that where it came from with, with Mario, specifically. Because it's like Super Mario 64. One of the, like... One of the most influential games, one of the most iconic games. Honestly, one of the best games on the N64. And then it, like, gets released on the Switch and everyone's just like... Actually, this game's really bad. It's like... Huh? Well, I could be mean <laughs> about. I could. Well, I could be mean about it. But to be more charitable in my hypothesis, rather than just going Lamau get good, uh, um, I think the thing with it is, is that 
The Switch is install base. And I want to make it clear, not all Switch users. I want to make it clear. I own a Switch. I want to make it clear. I've I'm, been I'm playing Hades on it recently for the first time. A solid game so far, by the way. Um, like, um, the Switch's install base is made up partially of 20-something-year-old, um, how do I describe it? Uh, I don't have a word, but, like, the kind of people who aren't willing to meet an older game on its level and are probably just salty that the N64 game doesn't play like doesn't have the same level of of gameplay fluidity as something like Galaxy or Odyssey if I had to use more Mario comparisons and it's kind of like that's kind of a problem I've noticed when it comes to people yeah what huh sorry I say, I'll be real uh as much as I, I would love to actually go through Odyssey as a whole but I just and find myself wanting to pick it up. Oh, because... oh, oh, do I... Sorry, continue, continue. I got excited. Be... Keep going. Keep... Yeah, because one of the... Here's, here's a criticism that I don't think anyone's ever going to bring up about um, uh, Odyssey. You can't really do a lot of... You are incredibly limited on your movement if you have... If, you, if you're not using the um, Joy-Cons. People got so mad at me a couple months back when I when okay so one of those engagement po uh, pay, bait posts were going around you know back when the Patrick on the shackles in the stadium meme was everywhere you mm -hmm. remember and one of them was was what Mario hot take get you like this and I want to preface this was before Wonder came out. Uh, so this opinion is a bit dated, I will admit. Because Wonder kind of came in and basically fixed 90% of my problem that was the cause of this opinion. Um, but uh, I said that Switch Era Mario had been very serviceable at best and boring at worst. And it's not nearly as... It hasn't been nearly as interesting as past eras of the franchise and people got so mad at me they're like but odyssey and i'm like odyssey's good odyssey's a fine game i'm not gonna sit here and pretend like it has the same level of charm or or intrigue as something like galaxy though that's that's i just can't agree with that like man and it was always the weirdest fucking counterpart it's like but you controlled the t-rex and it's like yeah for like a singular part of the game in the first world that's not a counter argument that's it's shallow at best and it's like you saying that about odyssey in a weird way kind of made me feel vindicated because i got my ass beating forward for saying that switch era mario was boring i didn't i didn't say so it was boring i just it's like I'm, I'm not saying it's boring my problem with it is like it's built poorly no i know you're not saying because... but it made me feel vindicated because of that i just want to make that clear Fair enough. But yeah, it's the the problem is is that it's built poorly. You are expected to play it on a specific like in a specific way in order to do a lot of the things that the game promises you can do. So you have to, again you have to play it with Joy Cons. And Joy Cons, by the way, are terrible. That is not a hot take. I'm sure everyone agrees. <laughs> At this point. I don't know, yeah. They just... Whenever... They, they break too fucking easily. Whenever Even the I'm newer on Switch... ones, like, don't, don't work too well. Whenever I'm on S Switch, like... Nine times out of ten... If I'm, like, on Switch... I'm either playing it in handheld mode... So I don't even... Or... If I'm using it in docked mode, you know... Where I have options outside... Of... Of the, uh... Outside of the uh, fucking uh, Joy Cons, I will use the Pro Controller. Or if I'm feeling extra, fe if I'm feeling spicy that day, I'll pull out my GameCube controller. Like, because I have the adapter that lets you plug in GameCube controllers. Until I learned that they just made GameCube controllers for the Switch, so that adapter was a waste of money anyway. Um, 
but not like joy cons kind of fucking they're kind of booty garbage honestly yeah like as a they controller fucking suck so hard they're not comfortable like, to hold they're too small it's just not good design like like that's the thing that's the thing i don't i'm not i, I try not i try to stay out of the heated debate of control of gaming controller discussions you know that very heated discussion there um but it's like I would rank the Joy-Cons fairly low on a controller tier list, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Actually, do those exist? Let me see if I can just whip one. That up. definitely Hold is on. a controller tier list. Oh, they tier definitely list. do. Hold on. Let me look that up. I'm just going to do one real quick while we talk. Okay. Like, I, ha I have to do my job, but fuck, it'll take 20 minutes to do this. Give me a second. <laughs> Alright, so let's... Uh... How do I... Yes, refresh. Can I... Where is the... Eh? Why is this not working? Random color picker. I don't know why that wasn't working. Colordesigner.io, maybe? Okay. Yeah, fully uh, random. We need... Yeah, about 15 colors. Generate. Okay, so we have some pitch black. That's better. Hey, Vector! All right, Fine, so let's wrap these. Uh, yeah, okay. Throw them there. And we'll do it in the order that we randomized it here. So, first color. We'll do that to skirt. This. I'm gonna do it. Alright. Alright. Goodbye. Alright, see you, man. about like actually filling in the rest of the colors. Uh I got the way through later. The I don't like that I can't see the Okay there it is. Okay. This is Male shoes. How crazy do you think that he's going to, uh... He's gonna come out, like, color-wise? I'm hoping for something wild, I won't lie. Anyway. Yeah. That's fucking ten back. Hmm. Imagine it's gonna be kinda redonkulous. <sighs> Redonkulous like that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> They'll be very interesting, yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> there's a reason I made the. There's a reason I made them aliens. Cause what is the likelihood that I'm going to get a skin tone? <laughs> yeah. No, that's a safe bet. I understand. Don't worry. I get it. I respect the vision. 
I assume when you finish them, you're going to ungrace grayscale it. Of course. So we can all see in its glory <laughs> what color palettes we got. Seven, eight. You know what? We're doing it this way. Yeah. From here on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're not going to be using that one. Cap. So this would go up there. Eight. Goes to this character. Imagine these modern-ish looking characters in an old black and white movie. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we just did eight, so we get nine. Uh, which is male pants. Uh, ten. Male hair. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, this is gonna be very interesting. <laughs> Wait, we don't have. Oh, okay. I know which one we. I'm, I see what we're missing. Okay, so I will have to use that last one. Shirt tail, fourteen jackets. and then fifteen female eyes. All right. <laughs> Bless you. All right. Now let's actually go in and. Coloring on these things. My computer is not liking this. Was it what? just screaming in pain? No, my OBS is like going crazy. Like, my computer's not enjoying this. Okay. So this should be white, just uh, not color picking.
very, it's very interesting. Oh, we should probably do a color picker for like the nose. Uh, you know what? We'll worry about that when we can actually see the. Okay, these characters are gonna look really funky, I feel. Alright! With that, let's, uh... Prepare ourselves. For the new pride flag colors. <laughs> Alright, so let's... Turn off the filters. Everyone can see color again? Here, for you guys. Can you guys see yeah. that? Cool. Alright, moment of truth. Why are they black and white? <laughs> huh. Why did that not work? Because the filter did turn off. Why did that not work? <laughs> no, I'm trying to figure it out because the filter did clearly turn off. It's like, I can see your color bar in your art program. Like, it's back on, so clearly colors have returned, so why aren't they in color? I was, uh, we, I was promised new pride flag colors, what the fuck? <laughs> True. I what mean, I can going? recolor them now that I can see the colors. Fair. Then you managed to pick things in the grayscale? Yeah, but this was just a filter. These were just filters. Anyway. So, here's the colors that we were supposed to use. Very foresty. Mega lol. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. I, I don't know how it got picked from Grayscale because there's only those are only supposed to be filters. Shrug. Alright. Whatever. The gradient was dark blue and purple. No, these are the actual Yeah, these these are the actual ones. These are the actual colors that it picked. I had not re... I not. I did not, like, re-roll them or anything. So one... Two... Three. It's went to the shoes of the dude. Four. Very weird color guy here. Five was female's hair. Very like, yeah, no, as as Lynn said, very foresty <laughs> this character's looking to be. It's kinda of giving me uh what's the energy of a tornado from One Punch Man. I have no idea who the character you're I, I, get, about, I, but... I I I get I get it, don't worry. Seven went to that. Uh, eight went to <laughs> very Martian. 
Very Martian. Look at him. Oh, amazing. That worked out really well. Yeah. That's what it was supposed to be. Actually. How can you even tell what what colors they were supposed to be? Because I have not re-rolled. I so I had a I had set up this list randomizer. Oh. And I set up the this generator. So I have I have a list of things like when things are supposed to be colored in and what color. Nine was the male's pants. That works again surprisingly well. Ten went to the male hair. Okay. He's got kind of a vibe to him too, actually. Uh, eleven. Oh, okay. Here's where it gets. Here's where it gets. Here's where it gets a bit on the stranger side. I don't hate it though, I guess. Considering the te the the prompts, the, the, the palette could have gone worse. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, twelve went to dude's eyes. Thirteen went to the male shirt. Okay, he's just got kind of like a light green shirt. And then fourteen is the jacket. I hate the fact that this, like, already looks like a character that <laughs> It is very Susie cool. Like, this color palette is just a character that I would have created. This one maybe not, the other one maybe not so much, but like, the, the guy definitely is like... I hate the fact that I, I could totally see myself creating a character like this. Can't wait to never post these characters on Twitter. <laughs> no, can't wait for them to be stolen, Megalol. That's why I said can I can't wait to never upload these to Twitter. Yeah. Eva. Hey, Emma. Okay. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> what a what a silly little experiment this was. I I wish it worked better. Like. I wish the color filters, like, actually had worked. But whatever. Mm. 
That would be the most clear-cut plagiarism case ever. I mean, the clear-cut plagiarism case is all over his DeviantArt. <laughs> Where's H? Where's H bomb when you need him? Uh, on holiday, hopefully. After that video, Jesus. What was this experiment? Uh, we were going to create characters and color them in grayscale. Uh, and like there was a we there's like a little filter you can apply on your computer. If I turn on the filters, you know it it would look grayscale. The idea was that I was going to color them, and then turn off the filters. But when I did that, for some reason, they just stayed grayscale. <laughs> I have no idea why, but they just, they, they stayed grayscale. So, we even had to go in and recolor them. You gotta name them, right? Oh, probably at some point. Need the color picker tool took uh, took the grayscale into account. I guess, but they're only supposed to be filters. Ah, uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. We got we got the result. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> was this really your only plan? Yeah. I thought it was going to take longer. But then I forgot that I, like, actually draw fast. Damn, what's that like? I mean, it, it does not yield great results. Like, I don't know how to tell you this. I'm not really good at drawing because I draw fast. Regardless, um... So apparently it was the screenshot, like the, like the screenshot I took, took the grayscale into account. It was this, like, the color picker was probably fine, but the, the color picker here, not the color picker, but like the, the thing here. I don't know why, but... They do be kind of funky, though. They do. I don't hate Very the results. I think the results are fine. Again, the one on the, the left kind of upsets me because that is not... In like, that is one that I would probably have created without... <laughs> like, of course, there's a couple of things I would have done different. Like, I probably would have opted into a different color of shoes. Probably would have made his hair white or something. Probably would have given him a fucking plaid jacket if I was gonna give him that color. Not plaid. Whatever the checker pattern is. 
thing. Hey, Zest Fullock, welcome to the chat. I hope you enjoy your stay. Try it again. We could. But like, I need something that can like actually allow me to save the colors. So we would need to find a different color picker. Just gonna start scribbling, see what comes out of it. <laughs> Valid. Where you have, where you have your eyes closed, draw and try to read. Okay, we we can do that.
monsters. <laughs> I see. Well, that answered that question. Okay. I did try to make a bit of a shape, but I couldn't really see what I was doing, so... I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, but it's just fucking... The way that the eyes are positioned, it feels like it's gonna be like a, one of the no bitches memes. <laughs> so it's just gonna be like, yeah, no ponders. No ponders? <laughs> well, that's, that's all I see is just, ah, I see. See a little, see a little octopus fella. It's like you know those like um those like octopus plushes that you like turn inside out and they change color. Yeah. Is this giving that kind of energy? <laughs> 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 and then you turn it's it inside. Boy. And then you turn it inside out, and it's just like me. She's <laughs> a happy goober. That's like I, I, I just I just look at that. And that's the first thing I see. Is just, ah, yes. Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> I want a plushie of him. Look at him. Look at him. I have no idea if this is the result that Jaceva thought it was going to be telling me to do this, but this is the result we got. A. <laughs> <laughs> we have created Shiny Fiend.
He just carries the, <laughs> the energy of all of those videos of, like, therapy dogs when, like, their owner is, like, balled up crying and then they just go in to give them a hug. <laughs> <laughs> very much squish. It is very squishy looking. I'm gonna grab a drink, I'll be looking at that. Alright. Okay. That you're actually gonna squish him? Like, just. Play last a tool and then just go. <laughs> squish. 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 Like that. You missed the grayscale challenge result? There they are. Hey, slappy walk. Pumpkin Spice Boomy, welcome to the chat, I hope you enjoy your stay. Welcome back. 
Yo, we going for biblically accurate angel energy? Yeah. It's kind of yeah. nice. I drew this like little cherub fella down here. And I like the idea that this thing can just turn into a biblically accurate angel. I think that's really funny. True. That's a Kirby boss, right? <laughs> it's a bayonetta enemy. 
Uh, truly, the cro the line of crossover is much, much larger than you think. Looks like we're gonna have to kill this guy, Kevin. Oh yeah. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm... Uh, I'm not exactly the best when it comes to doing a Bayo impression. Uh, Bayo, Bayonet is not really in my wheelhouse. Uh, 2016 means, yeah. Well, I, I like this song just on its own. What song's currently playing? Uh, a mashup of uh, Show Me What You Got and Shake That Ass. Uh. Or Shake That, rather. It's a song that everyone associates with me. Well, he did kind of use it for his intro back when people gave a shit about him, so... Angelic El uh Eldritch Bean, yep, that's the idea. I'm not the best when it comes to drawing like really complex char uh complex shapes and designs and such. So this is not super in my wheelhouse. Welcome to the chat, I hope you enjoy your stay. You are free to join us, you are in my chat by the way. Are they? You're okay, should be. I invited them, or... 
Hold on. I want to know. I say I want to know. Let me double check. Yeah, no, you're you're free. You even have a small. That you just there's just never been used. I'll have to set you up with it, mind you. So I'll have to go to Fuji Tech. But eh, you have like a little small. Oh, they have changed how Fuji Tech looks. Alright. Are you there, Miraki? I am here. Hello. Hello. Gaming. Uh. Hello, person. Hi. Do not think I know you. Um, I am, uh, I'm Yuroki. I'm also known as Jade. You can call me that. Okay. Alright. Uh, I mean, that's about all I do know about you. <laughs> uh, I'm a fellow commentator in the, in the SEC. So that's, that's my claim to fame. That's why I wouldn't know you? Okay. Fair enough. I have no idea if I did this right. We're about to find it out. Uh. Cause again, Fuji Tech went and changed everything on me. There you go. In me. That's so cute. Oh, I have them backwards. Oh no. Ah. Uh. Doing uh, I've been doing pretty good. That's good. I'm glad you're doing well, person I just met five minutes ago. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you. Well, it's actually been less than five minutes, but I'm I'm not allowed to be good at math, so. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I just woke up like an hour ago, so I'm kind of low energy. That's fair. I'm just working on art stuff at the moment and drinking spicy apple juice. How's your butt? So that's my morning. Wait, did you say that uh, spicy apple juice was um, like Monster or Red Bull? No, Monster. Red Bull's carbonated piss. Right, um, okay, I was gonna say, because I, I do not see spicy apple juice in either of them. Like, no, 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 monster spicy apple juice, Red Bull's carbonated piss. We went over this yesterday. How yes. is it spicy apple juice, though? Because that's what it tastes like to me! How? No fucking no! I, I didn't will my taste buds to existence. <laughs> like, spicy apple, like, if, if spicy apple juice tastes... If, if that's what spicy apple juice tastes like, then what does cough syrup taste like to you? Who brought cough syrup into this? Because that's what monster actually tastes like. It tastes like cough syrup. It does not! No, it does it. I, I, I agree with the spicy apple juice, but... Um... Yes. It doesn't usually taste like apples. I mean, I've only ever drinking like, the pink one. But uh. it kind of tastes like spicy peaches or something. 
Oh, well, that's because the, the, it, the, the pink one's one of the flavored juice variants, which does, in fact, taste like spicy peaches. I kind of only got it for because it looks pretty. Oh, no, no, the cans look great. Yeah. Um, mm. There's a reason. I say there's a reason why. There's a reason why emo kids and trans people like love love these things. Uh, yeah, it's because it is aesthetic. If you disagree, uh, you are racist. I'm just saying. I, I say <laughs> as a raw as a raw XD scene bitch who is also of the of the not of not cisgender variety. <laughs> Bro, you too. I know, crazy, right? Same Z's. Oh my god. <laughs> What are the odds? <laughs> uh, pretty high. It just means that I have a significant, uh, affinity for friends who really like the scene culture. I don't know what that scene. says about me, but... Scene slash... <laughs> scene, scene slash emo... Being seen slash emo, being trans and or non-binary, knowing CZ Doodle Toes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that says about me personally, but... Well, just, you're one of the only people who gets who understands my mu my music playlist, so you know what? I, 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 I don't know, Susanna. It's like, I would not exactly call myself seen, but you know. <laughs> you're like the... Your vibe, like, scene-wise, is you're the plain, you're the more plain-looking person who just understands everyone's music taste. You, you probably would be like the roadie at Warp Tour. R roadie Doodle Tones. <laughs> Manages the stage. <laughs> you know, hooks up. Imagine, imagine me as a scene girl? Nah. Uh, no, don't be like that, Suzanne. Come on. No, I'm not peppy enough. Fair. Definitely you're. Not. I, was saying, I was saying, you're more traditional emo, frankly. Like, attitude-wise, I'll be real. Like, you got that fucking... Thank you for the follow... Oh, that's just you. Thank you for the follow. I, you I, got... follow me. Okay. You got... I thought I it... did follow, but I think I forgot. You got the hood up sitting in the corner. Vibe, Susie. I won't lie. It's not too far off from reality. Dude. Well, I never had like an emo or goth or uh, scene or whatever face. See, and I never had a, I never had a face because it wasn't a face. Well, th yeah, but I. That's not what I mean. <laughs> I know. <laughs> My avatar doesn't have this fucking emo hair for nothing. <laughs> this is the life I chose. <laughs> I... I did not necessarily have any of those kind of phases. However, you do understand all of my music references. And that I appreciate. So hard. By people who do. I would love to sit people down and have them listen to my disorganized playlist sometime. It'd be great. <laughs> Alright, I think I... There. wants to... I didn't want to pad out the runtime of this stream because I wasn't sure what else to do. So I, mean, if you I want guess to... uh, adding all of these feathers is going to be. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely padding out runtime. <laughs> great, great job, Suzanne and Doodle Tones of the Doodle Tones community. Look, my whole life is a waste of time, so I've gotten pretty good at it. Suzanne. <laughs> I will destroy your bloodline. Uh, already working on it, frankly. 
Well, that's a new response. <laughs> Never heard that one before. <laughs> My bloodline ends with me. I, it's like I'm old enough, uh, as like, as far as like the, the scene culture and stuff like that, it's like, I'm old enough to ha like, potentially have been a scene kid, but I was not. Damn. We missed like, out I, on scene old I was in, I have to say. I was in, I was in the, the grade where everyone had, like, my spaces and such. I very, very well could have fallen into it. There's probably a timeline where that happened. Just wasn't this one. <laughs> yeah, no, Master Shadow, I was 100% expecting you, please. Promise? When I said destroy your bloodline. Like, I was I'm not prepared. On it. Yeah, I was not prepared for the already <laughs> working on it. That caught me off guard. I'll be real. That fucked me up. Looking like shit. <laughs> no, it's good. I think it looks really cool. Jade, Jade, you're never. She's not. She's 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 not gonna listen. I've tried. Uh. <laughs> like, I always be like, oh, Susie, your stuff looks really cool. And she's like, nah, nah, brah. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, nah, brah, yourself. Hold on. <laughs> Activate compliment deflectors. It's called an overhead parry. Look it up. Do you, you do you do know how to parry, right? <laughs> Time to learn. Yes. Time to learn. <laughs> hey, top hat guy. We're drawing a biblically accurate angel. As well as just a little goober at the bottom. Yep. Thank you for the subscription, SLR Slander. Welcome to the chat. I hope you enjoy your stay. <gasps> That's my boyfriend. He's so awesome. Oh.
What is this background music? It sounds weirdly familiar. Uh, just look up, uh, look up on the top there, and you'll you'll see. I have a a thing that'll tell you what song's playing at any given time. Hello, Daka Daka Bear, Daka Bear. Welcome to the chat. I hope you enjoy your stay. I draw this fucking injury again. Alright. That makes sense. We're now at the part of the stream where we're just kind of vibing, which yeah. is nice. It's fine. Pretty, pretty sick, actually. Not gonna lie. Pretty, pretty pog, pretty pog chain, or perhaps Papago. Um. People, happy clappers. It is time to uh. Hit that yoinky splinky. Whiplash for the what? The music? A bit, yeah. Damn, I love that. That's so funny. I love when that happens. When yeah, you're just, my like, taste in your... music truly. I was about to say, my taste in music truly is just anything and everything. By the way, uh, Jimmy Buffett was mentioned the other day, and I had to stop myself from going, remember, he's not kind of. country though no i know it just i can't think of jimmy buffett anymore without thinking of that fucking like in like incident where you were all like where you were like you yelled at me because you were like i did not <laughs> like i, I have that not, clip. i did not waste my life studying like pop culture and or like specifically music pop culture shit for you to sit there and tell me that Jimmy Buffett is a country? <laughs> it's all I can think about now, whenever he's, his name is said. <laughs> there will come a day where, like, it will announce that he is, like, like, like I don't know, he passed or something. And then, like, all I will think about when I see... What? Yeah. Huh. Well, I guess yeah, he's one he step ahead of me. Passed earlier. Passed earlier this year, I think. Damn, he's one step ahead of me! Fucking hell! 
Oh, yeah, isn't that the guy who, like, started the franchise of, uh, those... Margaritaville, yeah? Yeah, I watched a video about those. Mm, he passed, I think, at the beginning of September, I think? Something like that. Mm. I, I... Man, I was... I was a little upset to hear that, because I was like, man... We can't have shit. <laughs> yeah. It's like one of the few good country singers left. It's like, oh man, fuck off. <laughs> nah, cause country this year sucks. <laughs> so I've been told, I think by you directly. Yeah, no, I hated country this year. Country this year blue. It's like, oh yes, let's get the the song where the guy uh, starts us off by talking about like the the how the the rich man like puts down the 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 working man, how you know they, they kind of stomp on everyone, uh, and then just randomly in verse two talk about how bad poor people on welfare are. Wow. Yeah, that's. That was a song that got that was a that was a number one hit this year. Um, then you had the uh the song that talked about how small towns are this like these bastions of justice and city folk are, are too uh aggressive and are willing to like beat people up. Meanwhile, we're just gonna also uh like casually put a bunch of uh riot footage in our music video and uh film on a, a a historic lynching site yeah that's uh... <laughs> damn you're so well adjusted homie man optics very, there. very normal right very normal the thing optics... to do the optics there were amazing that sounds like some shit. That, that sounds like some shit that fucking one of those like, like clickbaity challenge YouTubers would do, where they would like go to some well, place at like 3 a.m. or some shit. Well, that was uh, "Try That in a Small Town" by Jason Aldean, which was also a number one hit this year. Damn. How'd that happen? Then you had um, then you had the the song that had a uh. A, a white guy, uh, take a, uh, a song about black life and repurpose it. Gotta love that cultural appropriation. Can Jimmy Buffett that come was, back? Yeah, I'm sorry I, I said say, you were yeah, Let's say that was Fast Car, and I believe it was also a number one hit this year. Jimmy, I'm uh, sorry I said had... you weren't. Country, please come back. Yeah. Then you had the then you had the the guy that got in trouble for saying the N word uh, uh, last year, uh, making a song about how uh, oh yeah no I just I said some things last night because I was a little drunk we both did actually it's like that's interesting timing there buddy hmm and hey, I wonder what inspired this little ditty of yours sir <laughs> what what possibly could have inspired this little ditty of yours. Man, I'm that so was, glad I don't uh, keep up with music. That was, uh, Last Night by Mor- I think his name is Morgan Wallen or Morgan Wallace, whatever, something like that. Fucking... Country this year sucks! <laughs> As someone who does keep up with the pop charts and such. Like, my homepage, for years, has been the Billboard Hot 100. Like, if I just open up Firefox, it'll bring me to, to Billboard. So I, get, I, I keep track of that a lot. Sometimes I'll actually like listen to the music uh, that uh, it is, or that it gets shown to me. Uh, it's how I came to enjoy what was... Uh... What was the song? Question. I know. 
I'm gonna go to my legs, maybe. Maybe I can... Uh... Sort by date added. Uh... Oh, okay. I... I have to scroll down a bit. Jesus. Um... 3D. There we go. Yeah. That's that's how they came to, like, 3D by, uh, by, um, Jungkook and Jack Harlow. This song's actually a lot of fun. As someone who didn't really know either artist until then. But, um... Yeah. One of my favorite, like, bits about music is, like, when weird crossovers happen. Yeah, like, um, that's always, that's always the test. Yeah, uh... Like, yeah, um... One of the more popular examples is when Tim McGraw, a country star, crossed over with Nelly, R&B, and made over and over again, which is not a bad song, which is kind of... Very... 2000s. <laughs> um, I love those then, very 2000s songs. Uh, yeah, y you would know what I'm talking about. Uh, the, the 2000s had a, a, a particular sound to them, and yeah, over and over again is very much that. Um, and then you had, uh, Blues Traveler, um, who is, uh, I mean, Blues, like, straight up, uh, I think, like, I don't know if Bluegrass is the right word, but it's like, you know, it, it's very... The, point, put it this way, they still use it. Harmonica. <laughs> Live harmonica. Um, and then... They worked... With JC Ch uh, Chazes and 303? Oh my lord, no. <laughs> no, no, no! Damn it, Susie, you're doing it again! You know, oh, 303! Yeah. yeah, no, 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 this, this, this woman knows what she did. Not on purpose. You it's fucking a... got me to binge their entire discography. <laughs> that was your oh. doing. That was your you doing. You caused, all, you caused it. All I said, all I said was, hey, did you know 303 is a Colorado band? It's actually in their name. Uh, 303 is one of the area codes of Colorado. You know, I thought that was kind of cool. And, I'm... uh, then you, you on your own accord went and binged their entire I'm discography. S I'm seen! You know what pop music that sounds like that does to me? <laughs> <laughs> Most of the discography is actually pretty good, I won't lie. But that's not the point! It, it really <laughs> is. <laughs> it is, it's such a, it's such a shame that their most popular stuff is <laughs> kind of the worst. I mean, some of their hits are good. Like, not all their popular stuff is so. I like their stuff. I think it's silly. I know, I, I fucking... I love how they just kind of, lit, like, dive into the bit. They're just dudes. Yeah, they're just guys. Yeah, they're, they're just, to be honest... Just guys being guys. Most what more of their songs... 
most of the songs I know from Nightcore remixes. Right? Yeah. They were one. They were one of those groups who had their music Nightcore and AMB to shit. Yeah. Like, fucking. Listen, did you discover some of your favorite songs through Nightcore anime a anime music videos and Warrior Cats animations, or are you normal? Um, I yes yeah I, I guess dude I guess I'm normal ninety percent ninety percent of my my own personal music playlist is from like like recently it's only been just like TikTok and random things I find on my recommended but it used to be mostly from Osu Nightcore and like I think like mashups. I just I discovered one of my favorite bands when I was like. 14 because their song a song of theirs was used in a fucking persona amv i'm not even fronting like oh, actually, my life my life is fucked <laughs> one of my favorite well only, like the only country song i like is from a my little pony amv <laughs> why did my my i i i'm not shocked i'm not, <laughs> I'm not shocked frankly that somehow this conversation went back to ponies this happens so <laughs> often yeah, fast. To quote TFS, did you know country music is actually terrible? I will fight. Country music can okay. This uh, maybe this is just coming from the wrong person, but uh, because I will listen to just about anything and everything, country music does have good things in it. Oh, no, like even even some of yeah, even I'll admit even some of the even some artists that I'm not really a big fan of. Uh, will make some really good, uh, good stuff. Like, I love Whiskey Lullaby. I don't really care that much about Brad Paisley or Allison Cross. Like, I don't hate Paisley. I definitely heard a handful of his st stuff that I liked, but I'm not a big Brad Paisley fan. I've just, I've just but never I been a love, fan. I love Sorry. Whiskey Lullaby. I think it's, it, it is... It is just that kind of music you want to hear when you're depressed. Like, I've just never been a fan of be of one of those of like those like entire genre sucks statements. Cause like, nah, nah. Like, I, I promise you, there's a life outside of being 15 and pretentious. I promise you. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, listen, I have my preferred genres and sounds. If the conversations we've had hasn't given that away. But, like, I don't think any particular genre is all bad. Like, there's at least one artist in ver in not most music genres that I've enjoyed more than one song from. Even if I have, even if my taste leans in one particular direction, if you go to my disorganized playlist, there will always be outliers. Like, listen. <laughs> I could say anyone who wants it, I could send the disorganized playlist to you and you could see what I mean. <laughs> Speaking of being depressed though, um Yeah, my life, yeah. Uh guess what's trending on Twitter? Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> Graham Linehan. Who? Oh You don't know you stay that way. <laughs> okay, okay. Fair enough. I will stay that way then. Yeah. Um, so back to the. But no. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, no. I like. It's it's like I get so fucking tired of of the uh, of of people being so closed off because as someone who does listen to quite literally everything I can I can get my hands on. Um. No, it's. There's no, there is zero point in being this closed off about, like, any genre in particular, because you, because there is always, like, things beyond the surface. I will admit, when it came to country, good fucking god, the bro country era killed a lot of people's respect for the genre. Um... Why it didn't really see chart success for a while. Um, but like, 
Rogue Country is an exception. Um, whereas you can always find good... The, basically what I'm trying to say is when it comes to country, not every song is She Thinks My Tractor Sexy. Yeah. Although, I'm gonna also be honest, would there be a problem with that? <laughs> Even if it was. That's such a funny song. <laughs> I know, the, the Disorganized playlist has 253 songs on it. I just went to check. Oh, my my music playlist has, like, over a thousand. God, you fucking kick my, you fucking kick my ass and I forgot <laughs> shit. Right? right now, my liked songs on Spotify it has 1,796, but... It does not even have close to all of the songs that I like. Especially you since beat they me keep by like removed. Especially since they keep getting fucking removed. Good God, I'm so tired of Spotify removing music that I like. Give me, give me back the giddy limit. God damn it. Dog, I got so mad the other day when I learned the when I learned. The Weekend by Millionaires was not on Spotify. I got so fucking mad. You know, hey, Stupendium, when are you gonna put 4 on Spotify? That'd be fucking great. I really like that song, and it's, it is super underrated. But seriously, put back on the giddy limits, uh, uh, Professor Elemental. Come on, what's what's? Why would you take down like your best album or second best album? Because School of Whimsy is your best album. Also, the entire fucking. Um, Jet Set Radio soundtrack got taken down too, which is a crime. Well, time to hop into the record store VR chat map and put on and put on the Jet Set Radio soundtrack in there. Then I will find a way. <laughs> you will not stop me. Oh, I just have it. I just have it all downloaded. I know, but that I just wanted to be funny. Leave me alone. I would say this is why I use YouTube for music, but then again, people keep YouTube on listing and better. privating things, yeah. Yeah, YouTube is not much better. Don't even get me started on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. Man, I need to see if that freaking mashup Spotify, not Spotify, SoundCloud thing is still up. Very old playlist of like meme mashups that people would call Sound Clown. That was like my favorite thing. God, mm. L let me be the first to say I fucking dig it whenever like a song mashup just unnecessarily sounds so natural. Like, like when you put when you discover that two songs work perfectly when you bash them together. Yeah, I got the perfect example for that. If like, I can find it. I made a whole TikTok about one I fucking put together the other day. It was great. And by the other day, I mean last month. Yeah, um, I... anyway. Yeah, I also, um... Yeah, no, back to the original point, because we got completely sidetracked. Um, when it comes to, like, weird... Because you, you reminded me. When it comes to, like, weird crossovers and such. Um, yeah, Blues Traveler 303 and, and uh, JC Chazes is, is a really, really weird one. Um... Then you have fucking uh, Bruno Mars, Chris Stapleton, and Ed Sharon. Uh, Eddie boy, let's go. I I think Blow might be my favorite. Like it, I, I actually really like Ed Sharon's music. Same. Uh, I know that's kind of a I don't know if it's a obviously it's not really a hot take because he's really popular in pop charts, but it's also not very popular to say that I like. Is music. Um, 
Uh, I, I don't know. I've been a, I've been a fan of Ed Sheeran's for a while. I definitely do enjoy a lot of his more somber, I guess is a word to use, songs. Yeah. Like his more songwriter shit's really good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some of his pop stuff was really good too. I really love Don't. Oh no, I agree. Like, I think people like I loved. Oh, speaking of Ed Sheeran, that actually does remind me of one of my favorite music collabs. It's not weird per se. Maybe it is. I love the collab between Bring Me the Horizon and Ed Sheeran. Like, okay, fair enough. It, their version of Bad Habits is genuinely like I remember listening to them. Like, are we sure this is Ed Sheeran featuring Bring Me and not Bring Me featuring Ed Sheeran? <laughs> because it, it, they kind of, it kind of feels like so much of their energy because like. It, yeah, it is just a recreation of a previously existing Sheeran song, but they remade the song. He even re-recorded his vocals to better match the new sound of it, and it sounds so good. But yeah, uh, if you've never heard "Blow," uh, "Blow" is is just really good because you've got also then it's because because it's like you've got Bruno Mars who's been like really dominating funk, like he just kind of took funk and ran with it. Um, you have fucking country rock star Chris Stapleton and then fucking adult contemporary pop Ed Sheeran. It's like... That doesn't sound like it would work, but it's really good. Speaking of, didn't um, Ed Sheeran want to collab with Eminem? Yeah. He did? It was okay. It did happen, yes. It's fine. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Modern, modern Eminem. Ah. Uh. Look, dude, hey, listen. Marshall still drops a fucking bop here, like a banger, like in the modern day. Okay, he still got it. Come on. I. Hmm. I don't know. Outside of look, I'm all I'm saying is. Uh, from. Revival to music to be murdered by outside of maybe like three. No, outside of like four or five songs total, like those three albums suck. <laughs> okay, sure, but like. And everything that he's released after has been uh, in tandem with his journey into NFTs and crypto. Look, he's... <laughs> Listen. <laughs> no, Danica, it pains me to say it because I'm... I I am, like, an... Well, I was an Eminem fan. I know, oh, I kind of still am. I like a lot of his, like, older stuff, but... Yeah, I... Mm, no. <laughs> his new stuff ain't hitting with me, dog. Okay, that's... That's fair! But, like... But Godzilla went hard, shut up! Godzilla does go hard, but outside of that, uh, can you name another good Eminem song that came out recently? Kill shot. Lace It. If that counts. Wait, what? The the newest one that he had put up with Juice World. It's pretty solid. Wait, there's new shit? Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, there's new shit. Holy crap, I need to listen to that after stream. Um, yeah, it's really fucking uh, good. I think it's okay. Like, everything that Marshall's been releasing lately has just been kind of okay, or it's been dog shit. I mean, he's past his prime for sure, but still, it's still pretty Oh, uh, yeah. Like, that I'll agree to. He's definitely past the era where he was on top of the world, like, musically. For sure, yeah. But he can still drop, like, a banger. Also, here's, here's going to be, like, a monumentally hot take. Uh, as far as uh, Kill Shot goes, it might be the better song, but Kelly won that beef. Ah, uh, I disagree with that. How dare how? you? <laughs> uh, oh, I was about to say how, because I can't, actually can't explain this. Because when I say it, and nobody likes the take. However, I do have a reason for it. Uh, and that reason is. If you actually, like, sit down and listen to Rap Devil, 
a lot of what MGK is asking for was just for Eminem to, like, make something good again. Like, to actually try. You know, MGK was like, eh, like, Marshall, you fell off. Um, and that's what got him to, that's what got Marshall to release, uh, Kill Shot, which is a pretty good song. Like, I think it's a better, as I said, I think it's the better song. But when you consider that this actually got Eminem to try to make something good that wasn't coming from fucking Revival or Kamikaze, um, MGK won. Are you saying Rap Boy it Genius won because Eminem gave him what he wanted? Exactly. Damn. I- because it's- it's technically true! He got what he wanted out of it. Like, sure, again, Eminem has the better song. I am not denying that Kill Shot is way better than Rap Devil by a country mile. But at the end of the day, he gave him what he wanted. I can't believe Coulson Baker fucking did it. What the shit? Like, if you really sit down and listen, <laughs> it's really funny. Eminem got trolled, man. <laughs> Rap Boy Genius really fucking, really, really fucking did that, huh? It was like 40 Mahjong there, shit. <laughs> I never thought of it like that, I hate that. Yeah, no, now that I, now that I say it, you all think it now. <laughs> now you can see where I'm coming from. Oh, God. I've been convinced. Rap Boy, Rap Boy Genius did it. Bro may look like a, like a fucking cat after taking a bath, but fuck did he do it. <laughs> I have a lot of jokes about MGK, by the way. All of them. Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Fancy Flugel. Uh... But yeah. It's... <laughs> I I have thought about that for years, and again, nobody likes to take what I say it. But when I explain it, you see where I come from. <laughs> Maybe even if you don't agree, you see where I come from. Honestly, I'm just fucked up now. <laughs> My worldview shattered. I am destroyed. I am dis disheveled. I'm... I am... I'm destroyed. I am... Saddened. I am. I'm. Thank you for the follow, SLR Slander. <laughs> Fucking rat boy genius. <laughs> <laughs> That live and learn, yeah. Welcome to my playlist. My playlist is full of bops. That is true. There's a couple of disappointing songs on here, and I sometimes feel like I should go in and take those out, but then I get lazy. Um, but for the most part, there's bops. If I was going to spend this much extra time on this, I really could have used this time 
Work on the Cloud Palace Christmas special. <laughs> huh. Really could have just done that. But no, here I am drawing a fucking biblically accurate angel. I'm not really using my time wisely, I don't think. I still need to figure out if Heaton even considers herself a part of the Cloud Palace anymore or not. She won't tell me. She won't answer. No. When will I add more redeems? Um, when I can. Like, when I can do more. Unfortunately, I'm not at a point where I can do more. I actually have ideas for what... What little potions I would add to my character. Um... Whenever I have that ability. Sadly, I do not have that ability. First one I'm doing is a fucking obligation. Contra <laughs> contractually obligated. And that is the, um, the dreaded sheep potion that you guys have wanted. For I don't know yes. how long okay. now. Okay, I hate to be Lamau funny number, but I need to make everyone aware of what I've just learned. Mm -hmm. The complete series of Seinfeld is available on iTunes for $69. Fair enough. Okay. Nice. Anyway, carry on. Yeah. I am immature, and I find that and I find numbers funny. Carry on. Fair enough. Anyway, um. But yeah. Uh. Though the sheep potion would go hard. That will be the first you one that I add. Just say you should definitely do that. Thing is, again, I, I, right now I kind of can't. Uh, I only have keys for one. Uh, for one potion, I don't have the key binds for any more potions. So yeah. Okay. That's probably not gonna happen. For Later. Bit. Later, kid. Oh, is Lynn hopping out, or...? Uh, kid had to BRB. Okay. Tententially related to earlier, my sense of humor has been destroyed. Same. I laugh at the dumbest shit now as an adult.
What's the Cloud Palace Christmas special? I draw, like, a little image of all the Cloud Palace members in, like, a little Christmas setting. I've done it every year since 2019. It just gets harder every year because we have more members. Yeah. Although this year we lost a bunch of members, so maybe it'll be easier. Is there anyone that I need to shake down for their avatars? I don't think that so. Fucking, that fucking wording, though. Sand, I think, was the most recent member, and I have his. Do you have, like, the most recent version of my Persona reference thing? Um, the one that I have is the one that I've used for your small, so if the small looks off, then no. Uh, I'll give you the new one then. Because, uh, it, it's changed a little bit. Alright. Fucking image. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Looks like I fucked up. Love to see it. How did you fuck up? I didn't close all of the lines. Nah, uh, been there so before. A lot, the, a lot of the wing didn't get powdered in. You know, I almost just kind of want to leave it <laughs> as just like a, a flat here. Like, like uh, I think I think this is just gonna be. I think we're just gonna <laughs> do it's this and d not fucking worry about it anymore. <laughs> this was an awful mistake. All right, let's go see if there's anyone. All right, because I'm streaming a little bit later than I usually do, so maybe there is someone. All right. Probably, yeah. No, not a, actually no. Okay. Damn. Oh, well, that's fine. All right, with that, I'll try to be back tomorrow. I don't know with what, but try to be back tomorrow with something. Later, chat. Sounds epic.